Good evening, I'm Valerie Pritchett. I'm Alicia Richards, so glad you're with us tonight. The election is one week from today. Democrats, Republicans, of course, still battling on many issues. But a once contentious topic has mostly disappeared from Pennsylvania's political landscape. And we're talking about fracking. Why is that? Dennis Owens went looking for answers. I strongly support fracking. No surprise from Republican candidates like Mehmet Oz and Doug Mastriano, but a so-called progressive Democrat like John Fetterman? And I do support fracking. Climate change is probably the, the, the biggest long-term threat to this planet. Couldn't prove it by the public stances of Republicans and Democrats, except Greg Vitale, the chair of the House Environmental Committee. He says political survival is at play. Democrats, they have to take this sort of nuanced, um, perhaps uh, intentionally ambiguous position with regard to fracking to get elected. Fracking supporters argue, like James Carville did years ago, it's the economy, stupid. Construction jobs for workers, cheaper energy for everybody else. And the president of the Marcella Shale Coalition insists burning gas is good for the environment. When you look at overall air quality, Increased use of natural gas has brought pollution down. House Bill 1059 passed last week, steering $60 million a year in tax credits for the building of plants that burn natural gas. It wouldn't have passed without Democrats listening to construction unions who voted yes. It's frustrating losing battle after battle on these environmental issues like fracking because labor is peeling off Democratic votes. Democrat Josh Shapiro, who's running for governor, said he's pro-environment and pro-fracking. You trust Josh Shapiro? I agree with the sentiment that it's not an either or proposition. We can have both. Does he trust Fetterman, who once professed opposition to fracking? We take people at their words. I heard him say that he's he's supportive of the industry. Finding politicians who aren't supportive of fracking is much harder to find. Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News, Harrisburg.